Joyce, that confusion came when the Fire and Police Commission today announced that the control of the Michael Mattioli investigation was back in the hands of Milwaukee Police. The FPC also said Milwaukee Police have always had the ability to continue its investigation of Mattioli, which it started in April. But we found a problem with the last part of that statement, and we pulled the receipts. On the left is Wednesday's statement from the Fire and Police Commission. On the right, the statement the commission issued back on May 19th. In Wednesday's statement, the executive director of the FPC affirmed the Milwaukee Police Department's ability to conduct a concurrent or parallel internal investigation, adding the Milwaukee Chief of Police has always possessed this ability to investigate and issue discipline to officers, even while the FPC is conducting its own ongoing complaint investigation. But take a look at what the executive director wrote back in May. She explicitly wrote in a press release she told Milwaukee Police and then Chief Alfonso Morales to cease all current investigations regarding Officer Mattioli and also wrote the FPC will be taking control of the investigation moving forward. And so I asked the executive director uh, how Milwaukee police could have done a parallel investigation if it was told to cease its investigation and it also turned over all of its investigative materials to the Fire and Police Commission. The executive director in an email simply quoted a portion of her statement today, which again is in contradiction to the statement she issued in May. Joyce. Well, Derek, any response from the Milwaukee Police Department? Not at this point. We were expecting one at some point this evening, but one other note from the FPC, FPC executive director. She says the agency is no longer going to hold the disciplinary hearing for Officer Mattioli. Instead, it's going to allow Milwaukee police to continue its investigation of Mattioli, which it is just restarting today, and then allow any, uh, leave any disciplinary action decisions up to the acting chief, Michael Brunson. Joyce.